good morning, good morning. Well, our neighbors are back over here. They pulled out super early this morning, so they're gone. And uh, that means we have the whole place to ourselves. Um, I can't see another camper at all from our campsite. Um, just a super awesome campground. Beautiful last night outside. So quiet. Uh, but as for this morning, it's been a while since uh, I busted out the Blackstone and made any breakfast on it. So. That's what I'm doing this morning. Uh, I got the Blackstone out, and there is probably nothing better to make on a Blackstone than bacon. Ooh, yummy. So since we're up against the clock, trying to get out of here super early this morning, uh, gonna make up some bacon and eggs on the Blackstone. Enjoy that, and uh, maybe get a little work done before we cut out of here, and plan on being on the road uh, around 11 o'clock. Head toward Mosquito Lagoon. So, you gotta stay tuned. Ready to go bye-bye? She's ready to go, I'm ready to go. My mom's ready to go, my dad's ready to go. Everybody's ready to go. Ready to go? Keep your pants and we'll head to your hometown today. Four, probably about a four and a half hour drive. Pretty exciting. So after that yummy breakfast that David made us this morning, we got to looking at our reservation, the spot that we were booked for. We got to looking at it a little closer and after making a phone call, it was determined it was gonna be a little bit snug trying to get into that spot. So um, since we didn't have to be in that area because of Dylan's appointment being rescheduled to next week, we decided to look and see if one of our spots in South Florida that we stayed at a lot before we got on the road had any availability and as it turns out one of them had one spot available for two nights the two nights that we needed it's the spot that we stayed at at the army corps of engineer campground that only has nine sites so it looks like it was meant to be so we'd already placed a walmart pickup order which we've done numerous times since being on the road but the direction that we're going to be traveling is still on the way of that walmart pickup order so we're headed to pick that up now so yeah, this is the uh, this will be the second time we've actually done a Walmart pickup order with the fifth wheel. Um, the first time was up in Mariana, Florida, uh, up in that area, and um, the Walmart employee doing the pickup order looked at me a little funny when I told him that uh, we just need to put them in the uh, fifth wheel right out here. But they did it, no complaints. Um, they rolled them out to the fifth wheel. We loaded them in. So um, we'll see. See if uh, this one goes that smooth, but we've heard of some other people doing it, um, and I mean it's super convenient. So we'll uh, roll in here and see what that looks like. We've done, we do numerous Walmart pickup orders. We, we've used that service a ton while we've been on the road, um, and it's really worked out well. So we don't have to go into the stores, um, you know, try to find stuff in a store that you're not super familiar with fight the crowds um, so it's been it's been an awesome service um, but this will be the second time that we've actually done one with the visitor. the door of the fifth wheel and uh, we just put all the cold stuff away and then we'll put the other stuff away when we get uh, when we get to our campground and get set up but super smooth stopped and got all fueled up so next stop Army Corps Engineers Stewart Florida back home so already let our kids know that we'll be there a little earlier than we thought and just like that, we're back in South Florida. We've seen a lot of diff different cool things.
So I told you guys a lot about the nine site Army Corps of Engineers campground that we've stayed at quite a bit. This is it. All right, well, this is our uh, first dining experience out in public since the whole uh, since this whole mask thing kicked off down here in Florida. Uh, it's odd. It's definitely very odd. But we did it. And if you gotta wear a mask, you might as well represent, right? So, yeah, I uh, went and had uh, dinner with uh, our daughter and her boyfriend tonight. Um, delicious. Texas State Brazil, highly recommend it uh, if you like eating a lot of meat. Like a lot, a lot, a lot of meat. It was a lot of meat. Yep. <laughs> so, uh, we did that, and uh, now we are extremely full. Um, the whole match thing was definitely new for us. It feels a little odd walking into a restaurant and then going to sit down, take your mask off and eat, and then put it back on to leave. But, uh, but our, ta our daughter told us that this is pretty much, it feels normal to them. It feels abnormal to us because it wasn't required out west and really it didn't start being required until we got closer to being in the south. So, I guess we'll deal with that. Um, we'll deal with that while we're here. And uh, hopefully here over the next few weeks once we uh, head back out and we start back out on our journeys, maybe we'll get lucky and... Uh, this thing will be starting to calm down a little bit and uh you know this whole uh, mass deal will kind of start to start to fade out and for the most part we don't really plan on being out in public where it's needed we you know did our walmart pickup order today the only time that we really plan on, we don't really eat out a lot and the only time we really plan on having to use it is for the grocery store so. yeah so all right well because that's about it we're going to make the drive on back, and uh, we'll catch you guys tomorrow.